Morning and welcome to the next podcast of Annie Collier Talks Cricket Memorabilia. So as promised we're going to do a bit of the Golden Age again this week, which, uh, well there's quite a bit of it actually, but um, I must have split it up in a few more podcasts. But uh, firstly we just go through uh, bits and pieces that turn up this week, which actually includes a couple of um, Golden Age bits. So uh, here we go. So winging its way over from Australia was the Australian Cricket Digest 22-23. The seasons unfortunately got reports on the ashes so uh, i'll skip over that but uh, thanks to laurie colliver for uh, sending that over for me which is uh absolutely packed with statistics and stuff so scorecards and everything else so i imagine that might have taken over from the australian uh wisdom but um i don't know that for sure so that's one thing that came up this week and then uh, we've got two others um I say involved in the golden age, which was this rarer version of the 1903 tour to Australia team, which was uh, what's that published by T. Bolland? A nice uh, postcard back on the back there, so it's a nice postcard there that's arrived this week, and also arrived this week with this lovely uh, booklet of postcards and um, the Excelsior Pictorial Postcard Budget. These were produced by, or published by AC Cricket Rhyme Master, who was Albert Craig. Um, and in this one, we've got all the Australian players. I've got the uh, English ones from 1903, but this is the 1905 side. So there we are there, look, who have we got on that one? We've got Trumper, Duff and Howell and Kelly. And a bit further on, we've got uh, uh, we've got Armstrong, uh, Gregory and McLeod. So there's uh, five postcards in that collection, I think. No, four. Four postcards in there, which is a very nice set and quite rare with the complete set there. What you did was you bought this set and then you tore these out, got a perforated edge there, tore them out and sent them off as a correspondence, which is a great idea. So that's a nice one there. And then, of course, we've got the Cricket Memorabilia Society this week, which has just turned up. Got Memories of the Queen in there, which is another publication. Got uh, some stuff from Peter Schofield in here again. Australian stuff from David Battersby. And his good Duncan Sharp little booklet. Well, I'll just have to point out, if you've got one, there's a caption in the front there that was obviously taken at Balmoral, 1948, with Bradman. It's got on there Jesse, Don and Jesse Bradman with the Queen, but there's the Queen there. That's actually the Queen Mother. So just a bit of a misleading uh, right up there on the bottom there. There's um, Johnson there in the background as well. So we've got Don Bradman, the Queen Mother, and the Queen there. 1948, or not the Queen then, but as uh, the princess as she was then. Um, so that was uh, just one, one thing I just point out. And the fantastic Cricket Memorabilia Society, I encourage you all to join. £20 for a normal membership, a little bit more for family, but worth its weight in gold, really, for information and stuff on the cricket memorabilia and keeping an update on the auctions. Uh, I think there's a meeting next week, and there's one at Lord's in uh, mid-December, uh, uh, November. So, um, great society to be involved in. So, let's get on to a few other bits and pieces. I'm uh, just going to start with Golden Age stuff with Cricket in the Park here by Roger Packham which is not 1832, which is obviously a bit earlier. It goes to 1909 and covers uh, Lord Sheffield's tour to um, Australia, or uh, captain by W.G. Grayson uh, in 1891. So this is uh, a uh, well worth book, uh, worthy book to get hold of that one if you can do it. Um, I think you might be able to get, still get some from Sheffield Park. Um, but anyway, if you do need some, just give us a shout and I can, or do need a copy, give us a shout and I'll uh, see if Roger can get hold of one for you. In very interesting book on Lord Sheffield. And staying on the theme of books in the Golden Age, is this lovely one here from Duncan Anderson, which is a fantastic collection of postcards um, from postcard photographs of cricketers by Foster and Hawkins, obviously the famous Brighton photographers. Um, this is quite a rare book, actually, because there's only 100 copies. This one is number 74, signed by Duncan. So some lovely photographs in there. Just flick one over here. A.N. Hornby there. Lovely signed photograph, postcard. Um, 
and there's a uh, Bosen kit there which is uh, it'll be coming up in shortly on the 1903 bit so that's a nice one of Bosey there and a couple of the guns on the back there double barrel so there we are play on words there see what I did right okay so going back into 1903 that one that post what I showed you earlier this is the general one that you get from the 1903 side um, Adelaide I think believe on that one so that's quite a nice postcard there and obviously uh, I think I've shown this one before well actually I'll just show this one here with uh, Lord Sheffield's team with W G Grace in the in the foreground there big figure and I'll put a um, signature of uh, um, Lord Sheffield there which is quite a rare signature on its own so quite a nice photograph there and this come out of a off eBay but come out of a scrapbook and then on there it's got plus Shaw the Earl of Sheffield's team there is um, Alfred Shaw there look so that's quite a nice photograph that one I'm just going back to the 1903 bit there we've got this one here which is uh, I've shown before again which is the team at the Botanical Gardens in Adelaide which is a lovely photograph obviously uh, winning side there 1903 4 so some great players and great names in there some great uh, costumes or hats and what have you there as well so it's a fantastic photograph that and just coming off of that tour this is uh, Bernard Bows and Kit's back from the tour he's got Bows and Kit on the side there but it was also it was once owned by George Drummond who went on the tour as well and on that tour uh, Bows and Kit used this bat and also uh, the rest of his cricket and career well not career but uh, test matches which didn't work too many more so um, that's rather a nice item that from uh, the 1903 tour to Australia so nice pleased to have that so various other a uh, few books here that um, you might not have seen before this is um, John Hawkins um, this is uh, Trumpers team in Queens in 1906 very interesting little leaflet there again limited edition um, this one is uh, number 19 of 150 copies I think it's done by Chris Saunders um, it gives you a lovely insight into Trumpers tour to Queensland 1909 and I think this is a particularly rare booklet this one here called Cricket Stories uh, Mr Fifth gave me this for my 50th birthday it's um, gathered by um, Alcock the Surrey secretary all sorts of little stories and anecdotes of cricket and cricketers in there which I said I think is a pretty rare little booklet there's a nice advert on the back there for fries chocolate or cocoa should I say so that's uh, that was one shilling Arrowsmith Bristol Library which is this one was printed in 1901 uh, there's a print down there 1901 so it's a nice booklet a little bit fragile but nice to have another one here on the New Zealand tour basically McLaren's New Zealand tour this is by Plum Warner um, it's got a little letter in there, 1903 letter to a chap who uh, wanted his book. So this was it. This was a letter replied to by Plum Warner in there. So uh, and it's dedicated to um, the cricketers of New Zealand, um, which is McLaren's tour. I'm just going to try and find that. I know you don't like me licking my fingers, Andy, but I did it again then. Sorry about that, old chap. Um, I will get this undone in a minute. There we are. Being the count of a tour of Lord Hawke's team in New Zealand and Australia, which I did do fairly well in my um, book of Across the Oceans. So that's quite a nice, quite a nice copy there. A little bit worse for wear down the side there, but that can be repaired. And then a couple of other postcards here. We've got some Surrey ones here. This is uh, 1900 Surrey side, 1900 to 1902, which is a wrench card. There, lovely wrench card there with the Surrey team on. And then we've got a signed one there of VVS or VFS Crawford, Jane Crawford's brother, who ended up in uh, Ceylon, played against MCC teams, and uh, was a tea plantation man who went over there. And this is another wrench series printed in Saxony. Uh, photo by Foster 
normal there. So that's quite a nice postcard. And another sign, sign one there with uh, Tom Hayward. Uh, this one's a rotary postcard. So there's a couple of nice Surrey ones there. And I can't help but show this one here. 1899 lithograph postcard of Melbourne cricket ground. Lovely postcard this one. Um, nice little note on the top from May 1899. Super thing. Got into the inner sanctum that did. And then we got something slightly different, which is a uh, cigarette case, silver cigarette case, which was given to Henry Hawkins of uh, uh, North Hants for winning their first county cricket match, which is they won it by North Hants v Derbyshire, won by 23 runs, 1905. So that's their first victory in uh, the championship. That's got a nice item there. Just a couple of other rare rare little things here. There's a nice, uh, I've shown this one before, but it's a nice MCC tour to Argentina. This one, this is actually printed in Buenos Aires. And it's got all the stats and what have you in that booklet, which is uh, quite a rare little thing, actually. And I'm quite pleased to have it. But, uh, it's another one there, MCC v North of Argentina. Um, I think Rob Neolit was um, on the... Facebook this morning with um, a film on uh, um, Argentinian tour or North American tour to England. So that's a nice one there. Another interesting little booklet, and the last one I'll show today is the it's a members book, MCC members book of 1897. WG's in here, all sorts of names in there that uh, we're familiar with over the years. I'll just see if I can bring out the Grace page. Uh, we've got EDF G, G there, so we've got somewhere around here somewhere, should be WG Grace. Um, let's just have another quick look there. Here we are, uh, Greaves Green. Uh, I should be over this side somewhere, I must have slipped by it. Uh, yeah, Dr WG Grace, sorry about the weight there, but um, there's Dr WG Grace there. And William Gilbert Jr. Grace, William Gilbert Jr. Um, all sorts of other names in there. So quite an interesting little book just to sort of look through to see your members in 1897. So that's uh, a few more bits and pieces on uh, the Golden Age. I hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, we'll see you on the next one next week. Cheers.